Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's just a vlog where I will walk 15 kilometers around Moscow. Well, I set my way here. It is Smolenska metro station and this is uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Russia. Beautiful, massive building. So we call it Stalinska Vysotka. And on my way, I'm going to meet three of those buildings. All right, let me explain more about Moscow ring system. First, there is the Boulevard ring, which used to be a fortress wall back in the day. It's like the innermost circle filled with historic buildings and Kremlin. Next up is the Garden ring or Sadove Kalso encircling the boulevard ring. It's a major road that runs around central Moscow, kind of like a moat around a castle. Well, it used to be back in medieval times. You will find a mix of residential areas, office buildings and more heavy traffic here. Let's see if I can come back here after a few hours or I will just give up and call a taxi and we'll go home. It is currently 1 p.m. I'm five minutes late because I was doing a thumbnail for this video, so I have to hurry up. This is end of famous Arbat Street in Moscow. Cute dinosaurs. I hope I will meet them. This is a west side of the ring, so if I will go this way, I will go north. First big landmark on my way. This is a Lotte Hotel. I wonder if they have Korean sauna inside. If you remember, uh, we have Lotte Hotel in Vladivostok as well. And I like to go to sauna in there because everything is in Korean style inside. So I always want to go there. Twenty minutes in, I'm already tired. Just kidding. <laughs> Everything is so centrally here. Like I live in the west part of Moscow, and not always I go to the city center. <laughs> so today is the day. My first stop in Kusville. I just need to buy something to drink. So I got myself uh, a blipicha vimors. I really like that Moscow and Russia in general is very walkable. Uh, I can compare it with Southeast Asia where I used to live. East Asia is fine, like uh, Korea, China is very good. But when you're in places like Bali, uh, Vietnam, even like Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, it's so, so, so difficult to walk there. You only need to take car, taxi, because it's so hot outside to walk. And all roads are not uh, pedestrian friendly. So when you're used to, used to this, it's very difficult for you to accept something different. By the look of this building, you even cannot say what it is. It is so minimalistic and strict. So I looked at, at the map and it is anti-monopoly government service building. Garden Ring is very wide road. It has four lines each side. It's not the widest road. Um, it's a bit loud to walk here because a lot of cars and especially all cool guys are now out on their very loud uh, BMWs, Porsches and expensive motorcycles. They are beautiful, but 
Oh, this is a Lambo. They are beautiful, but they are annoying because they like to make very loud noises. Wow, the light from this side is just insanely beautiful. I guess I came to the Patriarchy Pond district. Okay, so 15 minutes in, I reached my next landmark. It is Mayakovska metro station. So far, so good. I always was wondering, what is this huge tower? Uh, Yandex map says that it's just a business center. I think the idea was to create a building in the shape of Stalin's skyscraper. It, and it looks like that, but just uh, in a modern style. Right now, I'm at the northern point of the circle. This is Cvitnoy Boulevard, colorful boulevard, if we would translate it to English. I have big concerns about could I finish the full circle or not? I just uh, need to keep going. Back to the fascinating story about Moscow rings. So after Sedove Kalzo, there will be a third ring road or Tretia Transportne Kalzo. It's further out from the city center. It's like a huge highway loop that helps divert some of the crazy traffic away from the center. And finally, the Moscow Ring Road or MKAD. It's the big daddy of them all. It's like the Great Wall of China, but for cars. This one encircles the entire city, stretching for over 100 kilometers. It's a lifeline for traffic moving in and out of Moscow, connecting highways, suburbs, and pretty much everything else. Look at this, guys. What a vibey place I found. I decided to stop here for a cup of coffee, bathroom and charging my phone because it was like 27% of battery. Such a cute little area in here. So this is entrance of Metro Red Gates. A little square around and another landmark. In here is a third Stalin skyscraper. I do feel tired a little bit already, but cup of coffee, water and the rest for 30 minutes definitely helped me. I found a perfect vibe, so I listen to all Soviet songs about Moscow and I listen to the song Aya i Dusha Gaya pa Moskve by Edward Hill and he mentioned Garden Ring in his song and it matches so perfectly to listen to the songs and then uh, walk around Moscow or another perfect song is Best City in the World by Ruslan Magomayev. Finally, this is Taganska metro station. This is familiar area for me. 
I just been here a few days ago. So from here, I know where to go. I would say it is two thirds of the circle. I start to feel hungry. So if you, I will go straight. The next uh, metro station is going to be Pavilecka, and there is a shopping mall, and I want to get a lunch there. What I mentioned is that cleaning is everywhere. So you see the guy cleaning, and I can feel strong smell of shampoo around. Pavilecka Plaza is one of my favorite shopping malls in Moscow and food court here is always busy. You only can imagine how hungry I am right now so I've got myself this amazing dish from a Greek cafe with this nice uh, cold tea with lime and mint. I don't feel tired, tired but I definitely feel like just low energy because I need some calories I guess. I don't want to go anywhere after my food. It was so good, but now I'm so lazy. I need to go because it's a final part. I need to get back to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. My map is showing me that it is the most southern point of my way, finally. <laughs> I found huge Lenin. He looks at uh, Moscow city and it's there. It means my home is somewhere behind Moscow city, so I'm facing my home now. Kalushskaya Garden Square. This Lenin is freaking impressive. So yeah. The Moscow city is this way. I need to cross the road again. Uh, I know where we are. If I will go down, we will get to the Gorky Park. Another familiar area. <laughs> I don't know what to say. My uh, legs start to hurt. This is entrance of uh, Gorky Park on my right side. There will be Tretikovskaya Gallery. I need to go straight and cross the river again. So I will climb big beautiful bridge again. And I think I can see uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs from here, yes! It is absolutely beautiful here. As you remember, in the beginning of the video, the sun was behind me and now I face the sun. It's a bit high and scary in here but it's so so beautiful very nice river walk so it's evening and all people are going outside for a walk and there is Piotr Pirvi the Ministry of Foreign Affairs just there 
Maybe it will take another 30 minutes or so. I think it would be difficult to film this kind of video in the summer because it would be so hot. Um, today is plus 14 degrees, which is perfect. It's still kind of fresh, but when you walk, you feel warm. So it's very comfortable. So almost seven. And it is what? It is Park Kulturi, the culture park metro station. Was it boring to walk all day long around Moscow? I would say no, because I discovered so many new locations and I met a lot of amazing, beautiful looking, stylish people on my way, especially nearby patriarchy ponds, like the place I started in the west part. The north part was uh, more simple and yeah, I saw a lot of beautiful cars, like all fancy riders now <laughs> start this season, but the minus is was really noisy and the air is not perfect because you have to walk just nearby the road. Oh yeah, what's that? Russia сегодня. This is a, some kind of journalist building, like a news agency. It is good idea for you if you ever going to visit Moscow as a tourist. If you don't know where to go and don't want to get lost, just go around to Garden Ring, and you will see uh, a lot of beautiful landmarks. Ministry of Foreign Affairs, 11 minutes by foot from here. Yay! I made it, guys. I cannot believe I made it. Right now it's 7 p.m. It means that it took me six full hours to walk around Moscow with one stop at the supermarket, one stop for coffee, and one stop for food. All I want to do is to hug the dinosaur. I'm tired. <laughs> Let me show you the stats. How many kilometers? Oh my God. Almost 18 kilometers for today. 17.7, almost 25,000 steps. I did not expect that I would finish this walk. It's tiring, but at the same time, it's amazing. So let me down below in the comments, would you do the same? Would you travel to Russia, to Moscow? If so, you can watch other vlogs on my channel and subscribe to me because more interesting vlogs are coming soon. And thank you so much guys for watching. I need some rest and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye bye!